हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ संतोषी टीचर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर एटीन द एनवायरमेंट एंड अस ऑफ फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड चिल्ड्रन इन एनी एनवायरमेंट देर आर इंटर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग कंपोनेंट बाय एनी रीजन इफ दिस बैलेंस इज डिस्टर्ब it results in different problems in the environment can you tell children with the help of these questions explain what would happen if forest are cleared on a large scale children imagine suppose very large forest is cleared cut all trees what will happen in these situations first one will water and food sources for living things grow or dwindle and why dwindle means diminish or decrease and why if deforestation answer listen carefully if deforestation is done on large scale there will be a decrease in the water and food sources for resident living organisms food chains will be disturbed animals which are dependent on each other for food will die due to want of food when trees are cut down the sources of water will also deplete the roots of trees hold the soil particles and water when forests are cut down there will be soil erosion there will be a decrease in the rainfall resulting in losses of sources of water ground water level will also decrease see what will happen next question will the living things look for shelters elsewhere or stay on why answer is animals staying in forest will migrate elsewhere in search of food and water because their shelter are lost they might also encroach in the surrounding areas in search of shelter anywhere they will enter next question will the space occupied by the plants and animals increase or decrease and why due to deforestation means forest cut down the plants and shelter of animals will be destroyed completely the barren means open the barren space would increase but the space occupied by living things would decrease next question will the number of living things increase or decrease and why after deforestation the number of living things would definitely decrease due to loss of forest there is a loss of habitat there would be loss of food there would be loss of food and shelter and thus the number of living things will de uh, decrease deforestation deforestation means cutting down forest okay the population of the world is now close to 600 crores so population increase man is developing new technology to meet the needs of all these peoples and is using up more and more land and water resources for this purpose open spaces are required on very large scale for agriculture for housing for industry and for building roads and for railways forest are cut down to make place for them marshy areas are filled marshy area just observe in the picture low lying areas are filled to reclaim the land to reclaim means to recover the land 
for construction or for other purpose they are making land plain to recover the land so marshy areas are filled to reclaim the land environment provides shelter to different kinds of living things there are many types of plants in forest birds build their nest in trees animals like bear deer monkey elephant tiger all live in the forest that is they find shelter in forest all their needs are met in the forest if forest are reduced or cut down biodiversity then biodiversity is also depleted depleted means reduced biodiversity means variety or variety in living things in particular habitat so if forest are reduced biodiversity is also depleted use your brain power children if a dam is built at a particular place what changes will be seen in the environment if dam built then what will happen when a large dam is constructed we get ample water in some parts there will be growth of vegetation but the natural environment which was there previously will be completely lost the plant cover uh, trees etc will be completely lost which where there will be totally lost some animals would be completely depleted some will be extinct human beings resident of those areas will be displaced and they will have to migrate to some other place the local environment will be changed forever so all these things may be can happen which type of animals extinct you know dodo dodo birds extinct indian cheetah extinct poor number become very less due to hunting and poaching of some wild animals their numbers reduce significantly our next topic is pollution you have seen how water sources get polluted if waste water is let into them without processing without processing means without removing pollutants from water waste water is also given out from factories into their surroundings the waste water from the factories chemical fertilizers and pesticides from agriculture all led to water pollution such waste water cause threat to aquatic life threat to means it is dangerous to aquatic life the surrounding soil is also polluted due to all such pollutants if water from such polluted sources keeps soaking into the soil the soil become infertile infertile means unable to grow crop it means in that soil crop will not grow chemical fertilizers and pesticides are used on a large scale for agriculture they seep into the soil or finally flow into river with rain water see children chemical fertilizers and pesticides are used on large scale in nowadays for modern agriculture and they absorb into the soil and flow into rivers river with rain water and causes soil pollution are responsible for soil pollution due to several such reasons water and soil get polluted this is dangerous for the plants and animals there their numbers reduce and eventually they die die out altogether that is they become extinct as we have seen dodo bird 
and Indian cheetah extinct like dinosaurs. Can you tell children what could be the reason of air pollution? Some natural events may also cause air pollution like cyclones, volcanic eruptions, strong winds. But air pollution is caused to greater extent due to human activities. Examples are burning of fossil fuels, the toxic gases and particles etc. are emitted from industries and during transport. Next question is, what are the different purposes for which fuels such as petrol, diesel, kerosene, natural gas, coal and wood are used? Let's see what are the uses of all these things. Petrol and diesel are used as a fuel in vehicles used for transport. Two wheelers, cars, trucks and aeroplanes run on these fuels. Kerosene, cooking gas like LPG and wood are used as fuels for cooking and other domestic use. Coal is used for generating electricity or in the electricity generation and also in industrial processes. Diesel is also used to run engine and machines in factories. Fuels is used in all homes. Besides, there are big industries and factories in which fuels is used in great quantities. On the one, one hand, tremendous means more quantities of carbon dioxide enter in air due to burning of fuels. On the other hand, due to large scale deforestation means cutting the trees, the number of trees available for absorbing this carbon dioxide is dwindling. Dwindling means gradually decreasing because trees are not available for absorbing this carbon dioxide. As a result, the proportion of carbon dioxide in the air is rising continuously. The proportion of carbon dioxide gas in the air increasing uh, already rises. When the proportion of carbon dioxide in the air rises, it leads to rise in temperature. So much humidity is there, global warming. We see such a temperature rise in all parts of the world. Besides, when fuels are burnt in vehicles, they give out certain poisonous gases as well as smoke. Industries also let out some poisonous gases into the air. This leads to air pollution on very large scale. See which kind of poisonous gases are mixed in the air carbon monoxide nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide are all mixed in the air and this leads to air pollution on a very large scale so these are the causes of air pollution